Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to automatically create a strip board using the Auto Daybreak feature. In the previous lesson, we learned how to create your first board. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to quickly create a board for your entire schedule. First, I'm going to create a second board so that the changes I make does not affect the first board. The New Board button creates a new, fresh board. I'm going to name this board Auto and attach it to the current phase. Next, I'm going to automatically sort my board using the Sort Board button. Here, you can sort your board by certain fields. I'm going to select Set for my first sort and the DN for Day-Night field for my second sort. You will get a warning that sorting your board will alter the board that you are on, which is fine because it is a new board. Let's take a look at what happened. Notice that Amanda's bedroom is the first set of scenes, then apartment, and then basement, etc., all the way down the board. You can spend some time here arranging the board for your schedule. Remember, we wanted to shoot the apartment scenes first, so let's move them up to the top of the board. Then, let's say we want to shoot the basement apartment scenes next. Okay, when you are finished with your sort, save your board. You can now use the Auto Daybreak feature to automatically insert daybreaks throughout the board. To do this, select the Auto Daybreaks button. Let's tell it to add a break every two and a half pages, and then click OK. You will still have to go through the entire board and make modifications, of course. For instance, here, you want to move scene 19 up into the second day of shooting. Always check the bottom of the board. Stray strips that were not positioned on any shoot day will appear here below the last shoot day. These strips are called unscheduled strips. To schedule them, move them to the desired shoot day. If you are not sure what to do with them, you can leave them here or drag them to the boneyard. Boneyard strips are strips that are cut out of the schedule. When you are satisfied with the board, save it one last time. You can now switch between the two boards. To rename the board, select the Modify Delete Boards button. Only one board can be your default board. Currently, the default board is your default board. If you want to change this to the Auto Board, select the default checkbox for the Auto Board. You might also want to change the name of the default board because that would make it confusing. Notice this is also where you can delete a board that is no longer needed and display or not display the Boneyard. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.